Good morning. Good morning. Who is with me? Dawn is with me. Happy Monday, Dawn. Carol is with me. Good morning, Carol. Sorry, the um, thing didn't work yesterday. Whatever that was you had in mind. Deb's with me. Happy week, new week, new goals. Yay. New change of weather. Seems to be lovely. Beautiful weekend. Good morning, good morning. We're gonna get going here in very soon, 30 seconds. I don't wanna go early. I think my clock is pretty accurate. Uh, you need a set of two pound weights or three pound weights or four pound weights, lighter-ish. I wouldn't go with fives unless you're feeling really strong today. Uh, make sure you have a towel and water. Water, because it's warm, I think. I'm in the attic and I realize I haven't got the AC on or the fan doesn't work, apparently. Um, so make sure you have water and a towel, um, which is gonna be for putting a little bit between your legs. It doesn't have to be a bath towel, not massive. Maybe a smaller towel will be just fine. And I make it time. So we're gonna go back there and we're gonna get warmed up. Alexa, volume four. All right, let's go on back. You don't need anything for your warm up, just some energy. Bring your feet together, squeeze your legs together, palms forward, fingers down, shoulder rolls up, back and around. Inhale up, exhale down. Beautiful, four more here. Four, inhale, audible exhale for three, two, Last one here. Send those arms up for a stretch. Stretch over to the right, push into your left foot. Wake up that waistline. Really ground through your feet like tree roots. Inhale, center, other side. Beautiful, inhale, center. Hands on hips. Tap out, tap out. I'm coming in to say hi. You've got nearly another 30 seconds of tap out. Pull your core in. Just nice and easy. Natasha. Oh gosh, that's right. The kids don't have school this week. You can join me every single morning. No homeschooling. Yay. Keep tapping it out. 15 seconds. Add the arms. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold it out on one, lower the arms, you've got a little bent leg on this left side, right leg is straight, and lift and lower, lift and lower, pull your core in, crown of your head proud, 8, 7, sit low into those booties, 6, 5, Four, three, warming up that quadricep, two, that hamstring in the seat, hold it up, stay on one, lift it, eight, seven, stretch, five, four, three, two, and one, step it, reach out to the other side, and lift. Try to distribute that weight evenly over that right leg, eight, stretch it out. Seven, nice bend in that leg. Six, you can also put your hands here. Five, balance four, staying up in three. Two, hold it up, pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sit down into a squat. Take your legs out a little bit wider. One and eleven, fingers on the outside, thumbs on the inside, right shoulder. Stretch out that back, stand up, left shoulder. Single it out, up and right, eight, 
seven, sit that booty back, six, look over that shoulder, five, four, three, two, last one here, come into the center, round it up, flat back down, repeat, reach the chest towards me, round it up, sits bones wide, four more times, and three, really wake up that spine, two, last one here, stand it up, bring those feet in, and jack it out, 30 seconds. Option to go back to the step taps if you'd prefer. Who's with me? Ronnie! Oh my gosh, you killed me on Friday. Spin with my good friend Ronnie from Pittsburgh. It's amazing you can do classes with your friends in Pittsburgh now. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and walk it off. Beautiful job. All right, so if you didn't work with me before, a little bit earlier, two pounds, three pounds, four pounds. If you wanna feel really crazy strong, you can try fives. You're on your own with those. Go back and Kim's here too. Come on back, let's go up, grab our weights. Hopefully you're warm, feet underneath your hips. Soften your knees, belly in, close those ribs, elbows back. I'm gonna cross your right arm in front over the left and pull. And now left over right and pull. You got it. Reach and pull. Find the back of the arms. Find those biceps. Alternate the cross in front of your chest. Beautiful, four more slow, four, three, is that Ellen there? Two, yes it is, one, quicker. Whoop. Come on, cross and pull, reach to me, and then tap me in the nose with those elbows back there. Come on. Keep your core engaged. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, slow it down, cross, pull, switch, cross, pull. Beautiful. Woo, get warm already. Four more slow. Four, three, two, one, quicker. Come on, what do you want on a Monday? What do you want on a new week? Punch it in the face. Come on, you dominate this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it back, palms face each other, pull. You got it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one, reach forward, pull back, reach. Check that core is engaged. Reach to me, pull the elbows back. Four slow, four, three, core engaged. Two, one, quicker. Reach, pull, reach, pull. Come on, I want you to work your biceps and work the back of your arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three more quickly, two more quickly, one more quickly, reach, pull. Amazing. Four slow, four, three, two, reach forward quickly. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, belly on three, two, reach forward, one, flip the palms up, little lifts. Leanne is here, we're all here. Booty bar babes in the house. Make that bicep, lift that W shape for strong women. 
Wonder Women, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pull and reach. Stretch to the right and left corners. Pull those elbows back, eight, seven, six, five, belly on, four, three, doing amazing, two, hold it out on one, palms face each other, little lifts. So check here, your shoulders are down, your back, core is engaged, knees are soft, four, three, two, and one, to the shoulders, and reach. Try to keep your elbows quiet out there in space. Eight, seven, six, I'm sweating. Five, four, three, two, come halfway and lift, lift, lift. Elbows are in line with shoulders. Eight, seven, six, press five. Four, three, two, and one. Take those bent elbows, reach them back. Just give me little pulses. Back, back, feel your back. Feel your shoulder blades squeeze together. Squeeze those biceps. Eight, seven, six for a change. Five, four, three, two. Hold it back on one, hinge forward slightly. Core engaged, back flat. Back and forward. Triceps. Keep those elbows quiet and glued where they are. You've got four. Three. Two. One. Quicker. Come on. Bounce your legs around if that helps you get that movement. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, slower. You got it. Oh baby, triceps. Reach those knuckles back. Keep those elbows tight. Four, belly on three, two, one. Quicker, quicker. I'm bouncing the legs just because. Keep those elbows tight, high, and squeeze in. Four, three, two, one, freeze. And lift. Come on. Shoulders out of those ears. And you have four, three, two, and one. Bring them in, stand it up to the ceiling. You got it, shoulders and reach. Shoulders and reach. Stick at this pace for four, three. We're gonna go alternating two and faster in one. Let's go. Punch, punch, punch. Keep that core engaged, even if you're bouncing around on those legs. Burn out those arms, baby. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one, bring them in. Punch the right, punch the left. You got it. So your palm rotates down and in. You got it, four more slow. Four, three, two, one, go. You need to stagger your feet to have a little bit more balance. Do what you need to do, pull your core in. Give me eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, slow it down. One, you got it. Bring that pace down. Woo, four more here. Four, three, two, quicker. Punch, 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 come on. Let's go, keep that core engaged. Get that little rotation for your waist. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, stay here, up and down, up and down, punching somebody's face and then the belly. I've actually got a guy here which I could totally punch. Just imagine, it's not a real guy, 
it's Bob, it's my guy. You've got four more, three, two, switch sides. Come on, higher, lower, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, shake it out. Are we ready? Quick little round of all of those one more time. Elbows in, cross and pull. Three, two, one. Go quicker. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more set. Slow, slow. Two more. One more slow. Lock it in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Palms in, reach. You got it. Two more slow. One more slow. Lock and load. Eight, seven, six, five. Reach four. Pull three, two, one. Slow four. Pull three, two, one. Quickly. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it in on one. Little V's. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. In and reach. Eight. Extend. Seven, six. Pull those elbows back. Five. Reach to the front right corner and left corner. Four, three, two. One, right here, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, into the shoulders, eight, seven, stretch, six, five, four, three, meet me halfway in two, all the way out, bend halfway, freeze, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, bring them back. Hinge. Tricep kickbacks. Eight. Slow seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last slow one. Let's go. Eight quick. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Freeze on one. Lift. Lift. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, and roll it back. Are your arms burned out? They should be. Put your weights down. Give them a shrug, lift the shoulders up like angel wings. Get out of those muscles. Reach those arms up. Bring them back to your shoulder blades. Bring your elbows close to your ears. Keep your hands on your shoulder blades, soften your knees. Come down 45 degrees or 90. Try to lift those elbows forward to the front of your room. Pull your belly in. And then relax your arms, drape your body forward. Going out into our plank. So when you're ready, come on down. Pick your option. Option one, knees are lifted. Option two, knees are down. Scoop your abdominals. Pick your option. Draw your navel in. Lift your heart in your chest. Flatten your shoulder blades. You've got 10 seconds to hold that static. Eight, six, four, squeeze the seat. Two, are you ready? Single knees, right and left, bend. So in your full plank, you don't need to bring your knee to the floor. Just release it, it's like walking. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Knees wide. Sit back. Get a little 
more, we're going into our forearm plank. Elbows under the shoulders. Meet me here. All right, we're going into a rainbow, right and left, and then a seesaw, front and back. So when you're ready, right leg towards the mat, left side, centre, forward and back an inch. Repeat. Hip, dip. Forward and back. Move from your ankle joint. Keep those legs straight. Hip. Hip. Belly arm. Four more. Three more. Imagine somebody's pulling your head forward and your feet back. Two more. Doing amazing. Last set. Take it over. Take it over. Forward and back. Oh, hold it. Knees down. Stretch it back. Reach your hands over towards the right. Seat towards the left heel. Stretch to the other side. Drop that right heel to your right seat, right seat to right heel. Stretch your fingers. All right, you're going back to your plank and you've just got mini push-ups here. So see if you can do them with your knees lifted. Turn your fingers in slightly. So full version, because you're only going down an inch into those arms. Remember your elbows are coming back 45 degrees. You've got 30 seconds. Small, concentrated, working your chest, working your back. Push into the heel of the hand and those finger pads over halfway. Come on. You've got four, three, two, one awesome job come on up if you need a little stretch for the wrist reach your hands out pull your fingers down other side all right we have our side plank we're going to come forearm side plank today so elbow under the shoulder again you can have your knee down you can have your feet one in front of the other, stacked, or here, pick an option. Arm is up, pull your core in, stay. So we've got another 30 seconds here. You can lift your leg for the final 10 seconds if you'd like. Shoulders are stacked. Lift that waistline. Pull your core in. Crown to tail to heels is long. Are you ready? In four seconds, you might lift that top leg. Lift and hold. Push that floor away. You have four, three, two, and one, and release it down. Bring that arm across, recover, other side. So pick your option, make sure your elbow is under the shoulder, not towards the front of the mat. You wanna have fingers, shoulder, shoulder, elbow. Any option with those bottom legs, have that bottom knee down, kickstand your top one, push that floor away. Beautiful straight line here. Pull your navel back towards that spine. You've got that challenge coming in about four seconds. If you want it, to lift that leg and just hold it right now. Come on. You've got this. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Come back to that position. Bring your knees down. 
bring your feet up, squeeze those hamstrings. We've got our full range push-ups. You can do them with your toes down and knees up if you want. But here I'm bringing my hips under. I'm squeezing my heels to my booty to get those hamstrings on. And you've got 30 second full range push-ups, chest down. And exhale. Full range. Come on, bring that nose almost down to the mat. And again, your elbows are going back 45 degrees. You're halfway. Keep that core engaged. Come on. You can do this. You've got 10 seconds. And you've got four, three, two, and you're done on the mat. In one, oh, push back. Reach forward. Extend your arms out in front of you. I said you were done on your mat, you kind of are. Alternating leg and arm lifts, so right and left, and switch. Core engaged, nice long spine, eight, seven, go for length over height, six, stretch it out, five, four, three, two, hold, freeze on one, and double time, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Bend your legs, windshield wiper them over. Take yourself back, curl your toes under, push back onto your heels, push back onto your feet, and come up slowly. Beautiful. Pick up your imaginary jump rope. Are we ready? Jump rope. 30 seconds. You can do whatever fancy thing you want to do with your legs here. Keep those arms moving. Come on, do something. Move those legs. 15 seconds. You can do high knees. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and just walk it off. You got another set. Ooh, how we doing? So when you're ready, remember to have that sip of water when you need it. We're going, pick up your jump rope. Let's go. you want to do. Come on. Pick something fun. You can't make any mistakes today with that jump rope. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and walk it off. Woo. How are we doing? All right, catch your breath, grab that sip, make sure you have a towel. Somebody's giving me something. Oh, yes, kisses. I love you too. All right, I'm going to swipe you guys so I can see because you're, you're all I have to see here. We'll talk later. Okay, grab your towel. Wipe off the sweat. Grab your towel. See mine's a smaller one. You can bring it into a small little roll. Place it between your thighs. Bring your feet together all the way. Your ankles together all the way. Zip up those legs. Shoulders down. Hip away from the rib. And then just heel lifts. Calf lifts. You're squeezing that towel. Beautiful. Nice and quick heel lifts. You're already pretty warm here. 
I'm sweating in the attic. Push down through the balls of your feet. Crown of your head is proud. Chin is parallel to the floor. 10 seconds. Push down into your support. Press down into that hip, away from that rib. You've got three, two, hold it up on one. So your heels are as comfortably high as you can make them. Bend your knees forward, squeeze that towel, come down about a third of the way. Check your shoulders are back. Check your ribs are closed, your zipped up belly and you're squeezing those glutes. Get those heels up if they drop down. I just want you to squeeze that towel and release it slightly. So I'm not gonna see anything happening here. And if you're not feeling anything happening here, why did you show up? Come on, you're in your home. Hardest place to show up and work out is what you're doing right now. You've got 20 seconds to squeeze that towel. Come on. You've got four more. Four, keep your core engaged. Three, keep squeezing. Two, hold the squeeze on one. I am shaking and I even took a break. So you're squeezing that towel. Your heels are high. Your core is engaged, your shoulders are relaxed. Are you ready to add down an inch? Tiny. It can even be half an inch. I know you can't see my face, so you don't need to. Just see the booty bar. Come on. Down an inch, down an inch, down an inch.
catch your breath. All right. <clears throat> Come back to your support. So meet me in your little athletic V. Feet are going as if to the front corners of your mat, two and ten. You're going to plie your knees just a little bit. So just soften them. It's also called a fondue where you just melt them, bend them neutrally, hinge forward slightly. You're going to take this leg on the outside, straight back in an external rotation to six o'clock. So just slide it back. So even though it's at six o'clock, my knee is turned out to the right. Zip up your belly. You might tilt your hips up towards your ribs. And now just lift the leg, find your booty, and touch the toe. Up and down, up and down. So you are at home, unless your partner's with you, staring at your bottom. I want you to touch it and make sure it's lit as you take it to six o'clock. Up and squeeze, up and squeeze. Your belly is on, your back is long here. That's why you're leaning forward slightly. It's six o'clock, but the knee is slightly turned out in that external rotation where you started with. You got this 10, not a big reach. It's a big reach, not a big lift. Eight, seven, straight back, six, five. Four, the whole glute is lit. Three, you're gonna stay up in two and one. And again, it's a good time to check your hips are up towards the ribs, your core is engaged. Little lifts. Up, up. Now you went into the hamstring. So the glute is lit, the hamstring's lit. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I want you to take it out to the right. So now it's going back to four o'clock on a clock and tap and lift, tap and lift. Now you're working the glute and the side of the glute, side of the waistline. Beautiful. Your hips didn't move, your core is on. You're leaning forward slightly so you're not feeling this in your lower back. Tap and lift, four more. small, smaller and deeper is better. <clears throat> Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, stand up nice and tall, tap it, semi-circle it back behind you to six o'clock, four o'clock, six o'clock. You're just arcing it over, tapping it back at six and over to four. Standing leg is bent, leaning forward slightly so as not to feel this in the back at all. All glutes, waistline, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, shake that leg off. This supporting glute might need to have a stretch first. legs. Keep that back long. How are we doing? And now we get to stretch this baby out. Flex your foot, take your knee out slightly. Might not be able to come quite as low on that leg. Ooh. You might push your knee out gently. Just release it, give those legs a little shake. Oh, bring your right foot in front of you off of the mat. You're on the ball of that foot and you're just gonna switch. So the other one is in front and go. 
little scissors, just tap off of your mat with the balls of your feet. If you want more cardio, arms can go up anytime they're above your head. Or you can do a combo. Keep going, keep going. I'm with you, I'm with you, come on. Tap and reach, scissor those legs. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Go, 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 15 seconds. hamstring feel free to go back and check is it working ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one bring it over to eight o'clock on the clock and lift it up you got it so I'm still leaning forward slightly so I'm staying out of my lower back core is engaged and lift Left. Try not to lean into your support. Be nice and tall, even though you're leaning forward slightly. You got it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Come on, aim back for that left corner. Two. Hold it back on one. Belly on. Lift. All the way up those beautiful waistlines. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, tap and arc it back to 6, 8, 6, hips aren't moving, torso isn't moving, you got it, use that whole booty, 10, 9, this is it, 8, Seven doesn't have to be high. Six, five, four, doing amazing. Three, two, last time. One, and stand it up. Cross the inside leg. Sit down. Breathe into that seat. Nice long spine from crown to tail. And switch sides. Stand it up. Shake off the 
those legs. When you're ready, you're gonna grab your towel one more time. Especially if you're on tile or hardwood floors. I have this um, workout floor and a mat, but I'm gonna use the towel anyway because I have that knee issue. So come on down. You're gonna bring your knees to the width of your outside hips. So a little wider than hips distance. Feet together for support here. You don't need your chair, but you can be arm's length away from it so that you have a goal. So I want you to push your hips towards that chair. Bring your belly in, bring your back, lock it up so you're moving from a nice hinge position, knees, hips to shoulders. You're just gonna come back and forward. Come back. Keep your belly engaged. Remember you're working from the back of the knee, nice and straight body. The front body, nice and straight with that core engaged. Your seat is holding your hips up and forward, so don't let go of anything here. You are really lit in that body. Every time might find you a little bit lower. Four more, four. And then we're staying back there. Three. Keep those shoulders out of your ears. Two. Are you ready? Yes, you can. You're going to hold it back and freeze. And then you're just going to tuck those hips up. 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 You can barely see me moving. I'm just squeezing the glutes more. Lifting my hips up towards my arms. You have eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and release it. Ooh, sit back. How are we doing? All right, you've got one more set of those. I'm going to allow you to release the hips back if you think you can, and then lift up. So again, you're going to come back. You might stay there and not release, just squeeze and squeeze, or you might drop and lift, drop and lift. Keep your back on that diagonal, release the booty, lift it. Eight, seven, or you're back in the tuck. Six, you're smaller if you need to be. Five, this is it. Four, come on, earn it. Three, lift those hips. Two, and one. Oh, sit back. Beautiful. Let's come back off a little bit. Bring that leg through to a little 90 stretch. Get a nice stretch here. Bring your hips up towards your ribs. Lengthen your lower back. And then slowly walk this foot forward until you can come a little bit forward into those hip flexors. You might bring your arms up. Maybe look up, maybe a little back bend. And then bring your hips back over your left knee. Flex your right foot, push your heel forward. Stretch it out here, or you might be here, or you might drive that heel forward for your split stretch if you don't have anything in front of you. Just get that nice stretch there. Bring your hands to the inside of the leg, bring it back. Change sides, 90-90. Bring that core up, lengthen that spine. That might be enough of a hip flexor stretch for you on that right side. Remember to acknowledge your body. Or you can come forward, bring the knee over the heel. Arms up. So 
drop those hips forward, squeeze your glutes, you might look up between your arms, a little back bend. And come on back. Push that heel forward if you'd like. ball underneath you if you want support there or block if you have one. Bring that hand to the inside. All right, we're going to come to our wall. Have a towel if you care about your wall to put your feet on. I don't care. Face your wall. Come on up. So you're going to put your knees so they are directly above your hip flexors. So you don't want to be like this with your knees too close to your shoulder. Make a nice straight line with those quadriceps. Feet, heels are in front of the knees. Relax down for a second. You're going to lift up fist distance from the floor. I've got major sun in my eyes here. And lift that right leg to the sky. And we go down and up. Straight up to the sky with those toes. Push into your left foot. Push your arms down into the floor. Push. Lift. Eight. Seven. Keep going. Six. Reach those toes up to the sky. Five. Four. Three, two, last one, and bring it down, stretch it out, stretch out that left leg, let my music go, change sides, are you ready, lift up again, about fist distance, left toes up, and push, push into the floor, with your shoulder blades, Push into the wall. Eight. Push your triceps down. Seven. Six. Five. Push into that wall. Shoulder blades down. Three. Two. And one. Take it down. Stretch out that right hamstring. Oh, how are we doing? We're going to go back to the right. So lift up again a little bit. Flex your foot and find three little pulses. So we go one, two, highest place and down. One, two and up. Lift, lift, press the heel. Drive your foot into that wall. Up, up for four. Up, up for three. Two, last time. Uh, one, take it down. Stretch out that leg. Last side. So again, check your form, check you didn't wiggle away. Knees over the hips, lift it up, lift that leg, flex your foot. One, two, three. Push into that leg on the right, onto the wall. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. Four more times. Four, press. Three, keep that core engaged, shoulders down, triceps down. Two, last time, up, up, and one. Ooh. Stretch it out. Stretch both of your hamstrings out. I'm gonna see if I can get some music on Alexa. Alexa, play Spotify. Here is Spotify. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, stretch out those hamstrings. Flex and point. And roll yourself over. Let's finish off with the core. So again, grab your towel and you're gonna make it into a nice little tight ball, like so. 
and you're just going to wedge it like a doorstop at your lower back. Put your feet out in front of you, they can be quite far away, they don't have to be too tight. Sit up nice and tall and I just want you to roll down into your high C curve. So you're going to go from flat back, belly in, roll back about three inches, scoop out those abdominals and then you can hold on to your legs here for a second. I want you to bend at that waistline, so you're pushing your back down towards that towel. Your core is in, scooped out. Should be pretty hard to maintain the shape here. Bend at that waistline and just breathe. Shoulders are relaxed. If you had a ball, where you put the ball at that doorstop, that lower back position, but you can use a towel just as well. Keep pulling in that navel, we're just going to go up a quarter of an inch, so just bend at that waistline and lift. So imagine you have a belt on and you're just curling up and over, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, hold it back on one, take your arms to goalpost. Woo. So that might be enough for you to hold the core in in that scooped out feeling, or you can bring your arms in front of you and out. Keep grounding that back. Neck is neutral, I'm not all the way down here, but I'm not looking up. You can't see, but I am shaking in the core to hold this position. Pull that navel in, you got four more. Four, three, two, push your feet down, and one, and roll it up. Ooh. Reach that chest forward for a second. How are we doing? Again, make sure that towel is in your lower back. Round it down. Arms out to the side. Scoot those abdominals. Just reach forward and out. Eight. Keep scooping in the abdominals. That waistline is bending forward slightly. Six. Five. Come on, pull in that first layer of abdominals. Four. Push your feet down. Three. Two. Last time. One. And roll it up. Ooh. Remove that towel. Come on down, one bone at a time. Send those legs up to the sky. Flex your feet. Bring those legs directly over the hips. Push your triceps down, little taps up with the heels. So we just tap up, exhale, exhale. Lift those hips, it's tiny. Roll lower belly. Try not to swing those legs around. Keep those feet straight up above the hips. Push those hands down. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Come on, aim those feet to the ceiling. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Cross your legs. Give your sacrum a little massage. Beautiful. Send those legs up, point your toes, reach up to your feet, and grab your little ladder. We climb up right, left. One shoulder, other shoulder. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, and center together, ten, nine, upper abdominals, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, one, hug it in, roll over onto your side, and then bend those knees in half, hand behind the head, bring this arm out in front of you or somewhere that's comfortable, just come up, get into those obliques, little side crunch, this is it, 10, use those obliques, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 on this side, 4, 3, 2, and 1, just open up that arm to the side, come on up, change sides. Last thing. Are we ready? Let's go, lift those knees. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, 1, lower the knees, open the arm out to the side. Just breathe, don't force that left shoulder. And then gently roll yourself up, push into the floor. Bring your legs into a little feet together butterfly, shoulders down, reach the chest forward. You might even take your hands behind you, push your chest forward. And then gently bring your hands forward of your feet. You can hold your feet if you like, or if you have the flexibility, you can go further. You are all done. What an amazing way to start your Monday. It's beautiful here in Connecticut. Again, getting into those summer months soon. It's going to be awesome. Make sure to comment if you felt the burn. Can't get that input with you this way, which I miss so much. Walk yourself back, bring your knees in. Make your way to standing nice and slowly. Inhale the arms. Stretch over to the right, push down through your feet. Other side. And all the way down through heart center. Thank you for sticking with me. I know I went over by a few minutes. Can't help myself. Kind of had a day off yesterday. I was hiking. So I feel fresh. Make sure you refresh yourself. Get your stretches in. Um, I'm pretty much with you every morning this week, so check in again. I always mess. I always put something on Facebook and Instagram of where I will be the next morning, so check in with me. Ronnie, I hope you stuck with me, and I hope that you do another spin class from Pittsburgh. That would be exciting. Natasha, I hope you had a great workout. I know you're relieved the kids have a week off from homeschooling. And I love you all. I miss you all. Be healthy, be safe, enjoy the sunshine. Message me um, what you want to see, what you want more of. I know you don't all have equipment, so it's challenging for me to want to do glider workout, because you might not, actually you do have paper towels and things. So maybe we will do a glider workout. Maybe that's gonna happen tomorrow. I'll have to see. Anyway, I'll let you all go. Let's see, felt the burn, good. Good, good, good. Everybody feels good and worked out. Mission accomplished. All right, now go and relax. Get some vitamin D outside. All right, thanks for joining me. Have a good one, everybody. Hi, Dorothy. 
Thanks all for choosing my um, workout for yourselves today. You know I love you all and appreciate it greatly. All right, guys, over and out.